Hello, 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 everyone. This is Dr. Dan Miller here from Beaverton Family Chiropractic, and we are blessed this evening to have with us, I'll bring her on here, uh, Linda Benkini, and she is the nutritionist for Designs for Health, and she's going to be presenting tonight her latest workshop called Key Tips and Nutrients for Strengthening Immunity. So let me switch my screen here just a little bit. Excellent. And so if you have, um, for those of you that are on, if someone could just post in the comment section that you can see us, uh, I guess see us is easy, but if you could post that you can hear us. Linda, say hi. Hello. Wonderful. So waiting for just a little feedback here from someone. And again, we're blessed to have Linda. She was with us, I believe it was last July, where she did a workshop on core nutrients and very timely, obviously, with the uh, the pandemic, but also, you know, we're kind of at the tail end of winter, but just things we can do for immunity. And so here are a couple of people seeing that they can hear us wonderfully. So uh, wonderful. So I am going to pop in and out and really let Linda do the talking. She's the expert. She has a new uh, master's in nutrition. And so really beneficial uh, that we have her as a resource. If you have questions, uh, feel free to type them in the comment section. I will do the best I can to uh, respond or um, try to get Linda to respond. Or if we don't have the opportunity during the workshop, I will make sure that as soon afterwards, and it may have to be till my Monday, but between now and then, we'll address all the issues and make sure that you get any information that you need. In addition to that, if you have other questions beyond this, that maybe this brings up an idea, but maybe not related to this, you can always email me at the office. And I'd be happy to answer any questions or get you in contact with Linda as well. Our email here, our general email is bfc at beavertonfamilychiropractic.com. So with that, I am going to turn it over to Linda. Thank you, Dr. Dan. So hello again. My name is Linda Bankini, and I am a nutritionist here in Portland. And I'm also the local health educator for Designs for Health Professional Supplements. So thank you for joining us tonight and thanks to Dr. Dan for inviting me. He asked me to come and discuss ways to help support your immune system. And boosting immunity used to be a topic that people would ask me about during the winter months. But in the last year, our world has changed and people have chosen to make changes to improve their immune health. They're finding that having a strong immune system is helping them to feel better overall. Our immune system is something we want to support throughout the year as it helps to protect us from so many illnesses beyond just the winter viruses. As we age, our immune response capabilities are reduced, which in turn contributes to more infections and more cancers. Mm -hmm. While some people age with great health, compared with younger people, the elderly are more likely to contract infectious diseases and cancers, and sadly, more likely to die from them. Respiratory infections, flu, COVID, pneumonia, and cancer are among the leading causes of death today. There is a connection between nutrition and immunity in the elderly. A form of mal malnutrition that is surprisingly common, even in wealthy countries, is known as micronutrient malnutrition. This is when a person is deficient in some essential vitamins or minerals that are obtained from or supplemented by their diet. Older people tend to eat less, often have less variety in their diets, but this just, just isn't an issue for the elderly. Our farmland has been deficient for decades of almost all the nutrients that our bodies require. So today's crops do not have the nutritional content they once had. One study found that you would have to eat eight oranges to get the same amount of vitamin A that our grandparents would have gotten from one. Unless you have access to organic foods that are grown in soils that have been continually enriched with all the trace minerals, people of all ages are often not getting nutrition necessary for optimal health. Have you ever wondered exactly why you tend to get colds and cases of flu more easily in winter months? 
The obvious reason is, of course, that cold and flu viruses come out to play in winter months. People spend more time indoors in close contact with other people who can pass on their germs. Also, the flu breath virus stays airborne longer when air is cold and less humid. But why do we become more susceptible to viruses? Knowing the answer will help you become more resilient and stay healthy. The immune system is precisely that, a system. To function well, it requires balance and harmony. General healthy living strategies are a good way to start giving your immune system the upper hand. Stress. We tend to blame everything on stress, but there's a physiological reason. Your adrenal glands help you cope with stress by secreting cortisol and adrenaline so you have a burst of mental acuity and strength to meet the challenge at hand. But if you're facing stress day in and day out, you have chronically elevated cortisol levels, which suppress the immune system and increase inflammation. Suggestions to combat stress could include deep breathing exercise, keeping up with your chiropractic care and exercises, yoga, meditation, stretching, keeping a gratitude journal, walking or hiking in nature, artwork, crafts, and reading. Pick something you like that calms you down and try to set at least 10 minutes aside each day for this personal activity. Get seven to eight hours of sleep each night. This is non-negotiable. Magnesium is also essential for hundreds of processes in the body, including healthy sleep, stress management, and blood sugar balance. You might like it for a quick relaxation at bedtime. Exercise regularly. The American Heart Association recommends at least 150 minutes a week of moderate intensity aerobic activity or 75 minutes a week of vigorous aerobic activity or a combination of both spread throughout the week. Now I'd like to discuss some key nutrients that are supportive of the immune system. One vitamin that gets a lot of credit for immune support is vitamin C, but not a lot of people know about their companion bioflavonoids. Vitamin C, also known as ascorbic acid, is an essential vitamin, which means it cannot be made in the body. It must be obtained through food or through supplements. And while you may immediately think of the immune system of, with vitamin C, this nutrient has many other crucial roles in the body. Among them is the construction of collagen, which is one of the body's most abundant proteins. It's the primary protein in bones, skin, tendons, ligaments, and blood vessels. It also helps to protect and preserve the structure of blood capillaries and veins. It is naturally present in many fruits and vegetables and in very small amounts in select organ meats. Some good food sources of vitamin C include citrus fruit, such as oranges and lemons, bell peppers, strawberries, cruciferous vegetables like broccoli and Brussels sprouts, black currants, tomatoes, and potatoes. The Nobel Prize winning scientist, Dr. Linus Pauling, believed recommendations for vitamin C intake were inadequate and that many people would benefit from much higher amounts than they were typically getting through their diets. There are many common factors that deplete vitamin C and further increase that need, including stress, smoking, illness, taking oral contraceptives, and the natural aging process. Estrogen use during menopause and certain medications such as cortisone and aspirin can also deplete vitamin C. Additionally, glucose and vitamin C compete for absorption and use in the body. So people who eat a lot of carbohydrates may need more vitamin C. When suggesting vitamin C, I always recommend bioflavonoids with them. Vitamin C and bioflavonoids are found together in nature and they work as a team. For instance, oranges are rich in both vitamin C and the bioflavonoid hesperidin. Taking bioflavonoids with vitamin C helps the body properly absorb and use vitamin C. 
and assists in preventing vitamin C from being destroyed by oxidation. These three bioflavonoids, quercetin, hesperidin, and rutin, are noted for their protective, antioxidative, and immune supportive properties, as well as their support for a healthy inflammatory response. When paired with vitamin C, these compounds also work together to protect and preserve the structure of blood capillaries and veins. Quercetin is called the king of flavonoids because of its powerful antioxidant properties and its ability to promote healthy inflammatory response. It's found in many healthy foods, including red onions, apples, olive oil, dark berries, grapes, salad greens, and culinary herbs such as dill, cilantro, and radicchio. Quercetin contributes to the richly colored pigments in these foods and is not only potent antioxidant, but it's also a good helper for the immune response with seasonal upper respiratory challenges. Hesperidin is another potent but lesser known bioflavonoid found in oranges and grapefruits, particularly in the white part of the peel called the pith. Rutin is an antioxidant found in asparagus, citrus fruits, dark colored berries, plums, and prunes. Because of the synergy of these bioflavonoids and vitamin C, the products I'm going to recommend include both. Stellar C is a blend of 600 milligrams of vitamin C from a mixture of ascorbic acid and acerola fruit. And the plant bioflavonoids, hesperidin, rutin, quercetin, and mixed citrus bioflavonoids in the form of a single capsule. C plus Biofizz is a blend of a very high dose of vitamin C and these same three unique bioflavonoids in an effervescent orange flavored powder. It contains no fructose or other unfavorable sweeteners. Simply stir uh, one teaspoon in water for a really great tasting drink. This is part of my daily afternoon treat and it tastes so good, even kids enjoy this. Next, I'd like to discuss probiotics. Most people don't realize that gut health and immune health are tightly intertwined. Nearly 70% of the immune system is associated with the gastrointestinal tract through interactions with various bacteria, colonies, or flora that live in our GI tract to maintain its health and function. Imbalances in this gut flora, either an absence of beneficial bacteria or an overgrowth of unhealthy organisms, can interfere with our optimal health. Abdominal pain, bloating, gas, constipation, diarrhea, and a struggling immune system are some common outcomes of imbalanced gut flora. Antib antibiotic therapy, illness, poor diet, stress, and environmental toxins affect the health of our gut flora. In the past, regular consumption of fermented foods help to maintain healthy gut flora, but these foods are increasingly rare in our modern diet. The combination of unhealthy lifestyles and a lack of fermented foods in the diet make it important for most people to supplement with probiotics. Probiotics are naturally occurring friendly bacteria that enhance health in several key ways, including in assisting with digestion and nutrient absorption, helping to prevent the overgrowth of harmful bacteria, supporting the immune system, maintaining bowel health and assisting with proper elimination, and helping to restore and maintain balanced flora after antibiotics, which kill the beneficial gut flora. There is a huge difference in quality between grocery, warehouse club, or vitamin store probiotics and the professional grade probiotics that Dr. Dan recommends. He carries Designs for Health's ProBioMed 50. The 50 refers to the count of colony forming units, often seen on labels as CFU. One thing you will rarely see on labels though is exactly how much of each strain of bacteria makes up the count. 
On this product, there are 10 different species of probiotics, such as Lactobacillus acidophilus, and exactly how much is included in each dose. Some probiotic formulas may include several strains, but contain large quantities of low-cost strains, while including insufficient amounts of the more vital strains. But you wouldn't know because the label only says a blend of these probiotics totaling a certain CFU count. In ProBioMed, only strains that are scientifically proven to survive stomach acid and harsh bile salts adhere to the intestinal walls and function in the GI tract are chosen and placed in an innovative capsule that features a delayed release technology for optimal survivability from stomach acid and properly timed release in the lower GI tract. Another really nice feature of this product is the way that it is manufactured and packaged to protect its potency. Live probiotics are fragile organisms that naturally die after production and distribution. This results in many probiotics losing their potency, delivering fewer numbers of beneficial bacteria than expected, and becoming less effective. ProBioMed is created with the latest state-of-the-art desiccant line bottles, which protect from damaging exposure to moisture, oxygen, light, ensuring probiotic strains are alive and effective without the need for refrigeration. Designs for Health also guards against any potential loss of probiotic strains by adding extra quantities during manufacture above what the label claims uh, each, of each probiotic. So it guarantees that consumers will receive no less than the stated number of strains in each dose. You'll want to take one capsule per day with a meal for best absorption. Adequate levels of zinc are necessary for the healthy functioning of every cell in the body. Zinc is the body's most abundant trace element inside cells. At least 200 zinc-dependent enzymes have been identified. Having enough zinc helps to support healthy skin, growth, and physical development, as well as the metabolism of proteins, fats, and carbohydrates. Many functions of reproduction in both males and females require zinc. The mineral is also vitally important to the immune system and is involved in virtually every aspect of our immune response. Zinc supports the actions of specific white blood cells that work to support the body's immune system to various pathogens. It is required for the proper function of the thymus where immune cells mature. Practically every enzyme reaction in the brain involves zinc, as does the development and function of the central nervous system. The highest concentrations of zinc are in the ears and eyes. Thus, this mineral can be beneficial in maintaining proper hearing and visual acuity. Zinc is also involved in supporting healthy blood sugar levels. Some people have trouble absorbing zinc, but most cases of zinc deficiency are due to chronic stress, vegetarianism, or excessive alcohol intake. Some deficiencies re result from exposure to toxic metals, such as cadmium from cigarettes or excess copper from copper lined tap water pipes. Good dietary sources of zinc include eggs, meat, legumes, seafood, especially lobster, crab, and oysters, nuts, and dairy. Elderberry, also known as European elder, flowers and berries are used medicinally and contain a variety of flavonoids that support health and immune system function. Of all fresh fruits or berries, elderberry measures as one of the highest in antioxidant capacity and is one of the most commonly used botanicals in the world due to its immunologic properties and effects on inflammatory processes. It has a pleasant taste, making it very useful in creating liquid herbal extracts and lozenges. Immunozinc lozenge is a combination of zinc and elderberry delivered in an easy to dissolve lozenge with a delicious mixed berry flavor to support overall immune function, especially during times of compromised immune health. 
Each sugar-free lozenge provides 25 milligrams of highly absorbable zinc in two forms as zinc gluconate and zinc citrate and 100 milligrams of elderberry fruit. This easy to dissolve lozenge delivery system is ideal for an enhanced absorption and allows the active ingredients to stay in the mucosal areas of the throat to support upper respiratory tract health. These contain no artificial sweeteners and are free of common allergens. The next supplement I would like to talk about is vitamin D. Many of us have heard that vitamin D is important for healthy bones and teeth by regulating the body's calcium levels. In addition, vitamin D helps to maintain proper immune system function by helping to regulate a local immune response. There's research showing an inverse relationship with vitamin D levels and autoimmune disease. It regulates cell differentiation. As differentiation increases, cell proliferation decreases, which is important in cancer prevention when we don't want cells to rapidly multiply. It is especially supportive for colon, breast, and prostate tissue. This slide shows many of the causes of vitamin D deficiency on the left, including inadequate sun exposure, medications, as well as diseases that impact our ability to absorb vitamin D. On the right, it shows the various potential consequences of being low in vitamin D. Just to name a few, vitamin D deficiency has been linked to breast cancer, colon cancer, prostate cancer, infections, autoimmune diseases. Having enough vitamin D is crucial to our immune system. Food sources of vitamin D include liver, egg yolks, fatty fish such as sardines, herring, and salmon, mushrooms that have had UV exposure, and foods fortified with vitamin D such as milk, cereal, and butter. However, it should be noted that only about 10% of vitamin D comes from our food. The other 90% comes from the sun. The problem is in northern latitudes above the line in this diagram, we do not get enough year-round sun for our bodies to make enough vitamin D. Uh, conveniently, that's where we fall here in Oregon. To get enough vitamin D, you would need 5 to 15 minutes a day of sun exposure between the hours of 10 and 3 with a good portion of your body exposed to the sun, just arms and face is not going to be enough. However, many people wear sunscreen that blocks UVB light, which we need to make vitamin D. People with darker skin also have issues because their extra pigment or melanin doesn't absorb as much of the UV radiation. And we saw all the conditions on the previous diagram that also reduce our ability to absorb vitamin D. Because of this, Vitamin D Supreme is a top selling product. It provides 5,000 international units of vitamin D. Also note that there are two bioavailable forms of vitamin K included in this formula. If you're going to take vitamin D, it is important that you also take vitamin K because increasing your vitamin D raises your need for vitamin K. They work as a team. Vitamin K is important for directing calcium into bones and teeth for optimal strength. Without enough of it, you risk calcium being deposited into soft tissue where you don't want it, negatively affecting blood vessel elasticity. It should be noted that vitamin K can interact with some of the older anticoagulation drugs or blood thinners like Coumadin or Warfarin. So if you are on one of those, you should check with your doctor first. Vitamin D is a fat-soluble vitamin, meaning that it is best absorbed when paired with fat-containing foods. For this reason, it's recommended to take vitamin D with a meal to increase absorption. While you may not choose these particular supplements, I recommend that you do your homework before picking your supplements. Dr. Jan has chosen Designs for Health because they meet all of these criteria. These are pharmaceutical grade professional supplements that are only sold through healthcare providers. All of the products are GMP certified and independently third party NSF tested and validated. Each individual ingredient 
and every final batch of every formula is tested for molds, heavy metals, pesticides, toxins, contaminants, and to verify that label claims are true and accurate. Designs for Health is a family-owned, physician-led U.S. company with formulations guided by a scientific advisory board made up of doctors, clinical researchers, and scientists. All of these supplements are gluten-free and do not have any artificial flavors or sweeteners. Because the process for getting supplements into our market is so much more lenient than it is for drugs, it's also important to know that these criteria cannot be assumed for products found in local drug stores, warehouse clubs, or even vitamin stores. Having a strong immune system will not only help you feel better overall, it will also help support and protect you and your loved ones throughout the year. I hope that you now feel a little more confident in taking steps to improve your health and support your immunity. Dr. Miller has chosen these key immune support supplements, vitamin D Supreme, ProBiomed 50 billion count of 10 widely researched probiotic strains, Stellar C capsules or delicious C plus BioFizz drink powder for a boost of vitamin C and their complementary bioflavonoids, and immunozinc lozenge with elderberry. Thank you so much for taking the time to watch this. Dr. Miller, do we have any questions? We do not. So you have oh. done a great job of keeping everybody informed and at the edge of their seats. And again, if people do have questions down the road, feel free to still comment, even if you watch this video later and I'll get a notification and we will work to get back to you on that. So Again, uh, Linda, thank you so much for information. Uh, this is one of those probably good to watch it a second time or a third time because there's just so much great information in there. And again, if you have more questions about uh, nutrition or even our office, give us an email at uh, bfc at beavertonfamilychiropractic.com and we'll be happy to help you. So with that, uh, I thank you all. And Linda, I wish you a great weekend. Thank you. You too. Bye now, everyone.